Now with the release of Divi 5 Public Alpha, for many users upgrading to a new version of Divi can raise concerns about whether their existing Divi website will continue to work as they should. So if you are thinking the same, then in this video we are going to address this concern and will explain the Divi 5 migration process and its backward compatibility system. So let's dive in. Now transitioning to DV5 is straightforward. Switching from DV4 to DV5 won't require you to redesign your entire site or its content. That means all your layout and design elements will work as they should after upgrading to DV5 Public Alpha. Now DV5 was built with backward compatibility with DV4 modules and comes with one click migration system that will quickly convert all your DV4 modules to DV5 format. Now at the early stage, some of your modules such as modules from Divi Marketplace might not be ready for Divi 5 and that's completely alright. Those modules will continue functioning in backward compatibility mode. The migrator lets you know which modules on your site can't be converted right now. If you proceed with the migration, those legacy modules will not be converted and will run in backward compatibility mode. Pages running in backward compatibility mode won't be benefited from all the DV5's performance improvements. And editing legacy modules has some limitations in the visual builder. But it helps bridge the gap while you wait for creators to build new version of their modules. If a page on your website contains a legacy module, you will see a backward compatibility mode enable alert on the front end of your website. Now this is not an error but it's let you know that this page is not benefiting from Divi5's performance improvements. It could be that the module isn't ready to be converted or that you haven't run the migrator yet. This alert will disappear once the page is migrated and modules are converted. So let me show you how it works. So here we are in our WordPress backend and if you take a look at the front end, we have just imported a sample layout from the Divi library. So this is a real estate website. And now let's go ahead and add Divi 5 public alpha on this setup and see how we can do the migration process. So for that we go to elegantthemes.com forward slash Divi 5 and from here I'm just going to download the alpha version. So this is going to take me to my members area and here I can download the Divi 5 public alpha. And of course make sure you test all the things in a test server or a demo site. Do not try to implement this migration process on a live website. Alright so now once the download is done let's come back here in our WordPress backend and we go to appearance then click on themes and we are going to click on add new theme from here and to upload a theme let's go ahead and add the zip file of our theme here. And then click on install now. So this is going to replace our current version of Divi 4 to the Divi 5 public alpha. So let's go ahead and replace it. Alright, so we are done. And if we go ahead and click on themes, we now have the Divi 5 public alpha on this WordPress setup. Now if we instantly go ahead and refresh our front end, we will get this message on the top. Now we are getting this message because this page contains a legacy module and because we have not started the migration process from DV4 to DV5, that's why we are getting this message here. Now for a proper migration, we need to come back here in our WordPress backend and if we scroll down at the very bottom, we have DV option here and then we have DV5 migrator. So let's click on this. So here the DV migrator is going to scan the website for the compatibility and here we can see that some theme builder templates are incompatible with DV5 public alpha. And here we have the three body templates that are incompatible with this version. So if we click on this, so here we can see the WooCommerce modules are currently incompatible with DV5 and rest of the other things are completely fine. So we need to keep that in mind that these modules will work in backward compatibility mode. So in order to do the migration, we need to click on migrate this site to DV5. So let's click on this and then click on confirm. So this is going to take a few seconds and it's going to convert all the DV4 module structure into DV5. And it's already done. Now if we come back here in the front end and do the refresh, we can see that everything is now perfectly fine and we can click on edit with Divi to load the Divi 5 visual builder for this website. And here we are. So we can see all the modules right now are in Divi 5 mode. So we can go ahead and do all the editings as we need. 
So make sure you go ahead and try DV5 Public Alpha today using the link given in the video description below. And if you find any bugs while using DV5, please report them through our support chat in the help tab in your members area. Your feedback helps us improve DV5. Along with that, you can find links to more DB5 resources in the video description below. So be sure to share your thoughts on DB5 Public Alpha in the comment section below. And make sure you like this video and share it with your friends and community. And for more WordPress and DB5 updates, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.